Yo, what's good, YouTube? So we're gonna do another uh, a uh, tape tutorial or album tutorial. As you can see, we're gonna do the Young Bands album tutorial, or not tutorial. I'm sorry, uh, review, uh, and kind of go over this. It's got a lot of uh, songs on here. It's got about 15 songs. A lot of good music on here. Um, it's good to see him back making more music. You know what I mean? And putting something out. He hasn't really been active or putting any music out in the last couple of years. I'd say it's been what like two or three years since the last time he put something out i would say I'm not double sure on that uh let's see if we can find out yeah it's, well it's been a little longer than that it's actually been like four years yeah yeah it's been like f about four years i think that was the last thing i remember hearing about was misunderstood um but you know there might be some reasons for that i'll kind of talk about that but let's go ahead and hop into it let's go ahead and see now out of the 15 songs i have one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight of them in my playlist. All right, so let's do our normal math. Figure that out what that that rating comes out to be. Which I already know what it is off the top of my head. Just that's I mean that's simple math. Oops, I typed the wrong button. Bye bye. Let's say it's about fifty three. So we'll just call it like a a five out of ten pretty much like a 50 50 type of uh tape which uh after you know thinking about it now that i just kind of see the actual number that's kind of roughly what i would put it at. i definitely was to give it like a good five ish six ish um you know uh, and as far as far as music goes you know 10 would be like everything's a banger on there everything's like perfect like it's great which i i don't think anybody's gonna ever put out like a, a 10 out of 10 perfect project you'd have to literally like every song or anything and not find anything wrong with anything on it or anything like that but it's a critique it's a it's a review um i definitely think uh i think a five out of ten is like the epitome of being average like your average artist like that's just like that's that's like the starting point where you should start from, to be honest with you. So anything that's ever below uh, um, a five, in my opinion, is has that person dropped the ball. If you're at a five, you're on par with what I think you should be doing. And anything that you exceed past that five is obviously like you really outdid yourself in this one. And I think this is a good start, a good fresh start for him being that he's been out of the game and out of music uh, as far as dropping the big tape uh, since 2019. So it's you know been four years. So it's given him a lot of time to work on his music, work on his style, uh, grow as a person, grow and, you know, put get some age on him as well, too. And, uh, show, you know, actually, you know, have some other things to talk about, because now he's older since the last time he put some music out. Because when he was putting this music out, that's when he was doing all that beef and stuff and, and all that. Hopefully that's all, you know, in the past for him and whatnot. But I remember he had beef with uh, Lil Yachty and they were going back and forth with this and i think it was more so just a publicity stunt to be honest with you but you know i don't know i don't really know if there's actual beef behind that uh so the songs that i like from this album are let's go back and look energy side by side who wants smoke no belt i just the streets love for granted and straight cash so those were the ones that i really liked um there's some things i like a lot about this tape and there's some things i didn't know so much like about it um the main thing that i did like about it is like i actually did like pretty much every song on the tape those are just the songs that made it to my playlist um and i'll kind of explain why the other ones i that didn't make it didn't make it even though the songs were okay and i did like them but there's a reason for it um i think this is a great way to kind of get his you know back out there and start you know putting himself back out there as an artist because uh, they you know like i said for a while he was um kind of just went MIA. Um, but to uh, kind of explain on things, like I like the first handful of songs, right? And then I think the next song I ended up liking was 14. So I, li I literally think it was the first, pretty much almost the first like five or six aside from like one or two that I didn't pick put in that playlist. And um, the reason that I like those songs, because I think these songs kind of display uh, a wide range of bands talent as far as being able to rap, sing a little bit and then kind of incorporate the rap and end the singing. Uh, it shows, you know, his ability to make melodic music and a melodic melodic song. Um, it, it, it was it was kind of nice to hear a different style to bands, uh, even though, you know, he's been at this style for a little bit of time. But 
when I was working with him and in the beginning stages of uh, his career, it's definitely different from that, right? So I like I like that things are a little bit different from you can hear the growth in his music you can hear that he's actually changed uh, beginning to change as an artist and finding himself and kind of uh, changing up his sound a little bit. I like that. Uh, some things that I didn't like so much is I think um, I think personally, I think Vans is a really good bar for bar rapper. Like I've literally watched him in the studio. I've recorded him numerous times. He can make a song and literally go bar for bar like each bar follows the, the previous bar. It all makes sense. Uh, where some artists just get in their freestyle and just whatever comes off the top of the dome, that's just what it is. Um, that I, I like that too, but sometimes you can tell, all right, this person freestyled this and there's no um, like thought process to it. Like they didn't put a huge amount of effort in it. Vance is one of those artists that actually does put some you know effort into making his songs. He uh, he'll, he'll freestyle a little bit. Um, he writes a lot. Uh, he does a lot of punching in. Um, I don't know if things have changed since, you know, the last time I watched him record, but that's what he, how he did it and what he was doing then. And he does a really good job at that. If you go and listen to all these songs, all these songs are actually really good songs. Even the ones that I didn't mention and didn't put in uh, out there, I, I, I did like them. The only, there was maybe like one, maybe two songs that I was just like, all right, this ain't it. Um, but the reason that I did not pick the other songs that... Uh, that I, that I you know didn't have in my list is because I feel like the first handful of songs that I mentioned uh, in that last one, the straight cash one, I feel like all of those songs were the ones that I didn't pick were almost repeats of those songs. So it's kind of like I got the rap and I got the bar for bar song, I got the melodic song, and then I got the singing type song that I like, right? But then he did that again and made different versions of those songs. Essentially, is what it sounds like. So that's why I've always said when you guys make tapes uh, as an artist and you put music out there and you've got an album, don't go so heavy on having, you know, so many different songs. Most people's attention span is short anyway. And if you notice, these songs are a little bit on the shorter side of things, which is good. But he's got a lot of them. He's got about, he's got 15. I think he probably would have been cool with having seven or 10 or less. I think his number really should, could have been like seven or eight. And I uh, left these other songs as, you know, singles that he kind of sprinkles out throughout the year of 24 um, and then, you know, leads up to another tape of some sort. Uh, I think the days of having 15, 16, 17, 18 songs on an uh, album, I think those those days are kind of long gone and long behind us. That was kind of like when I was growing up and people were buying CDs and like that's what you had to listen to. You pop the CD in the CD player, listen to it and you keep going through the tracks. Most cars and stuff nowadays don't like cars and and then people's houses don't even have CD players. Everybody's playing stuff off of YouTube, Apple Music, uh, Spotify, you know, that type of stuff. So I think having too many songs can hurt you because, again, if he had like 10 songs on here and I just told you I like eight of them, that would totally change his score. If he had those those eight songs that I like and then two or three uh, other songs in there, his score would be like a, an eight out of 10. You see what I mean? So. It, it, it kind of was a little bit oversaturated with songs, but at the same time, I think that's due to the fact that he hasn't put music out in a while. So he wants to kind of give you guys, a, you know, a lot of stuff to actually put out there. Now, as far as each individual songs and kind of how I like the songs, I think they're all really good songs. Um, I don't think that there's any type of like bangers on there. I don't think any of these songs are songs that are going to be like his dresser or four teaspoons are uh, what's another song that that's like a popular band song i think it was one that he did with uh sammy so far like in my jeans like those songs that were like got millions of plays and like people were like all right this is what kind of pushed him into that that realm of, of being who he is now i don't think any of these songs are that i think these are kind of like to a degree fluff songs like songs where they're really good songs to showcase his talent, showcase his ability for uh, dip his toes back out there as an artist to kind of get back into the game. But I don't think they're like bangers. Like, I don't think we'll wake up tomorrow and hear one of these songs on the radio, to be honest with you. I think you might have a couple of these songs that might do really well and he'll probably make a video or two to them and then kind of begin to progress from that point. So I think this is a really good start for him. Uh, I do have one theory that the reason he may not be he may have not put out music for so long as uh, if you notice, I believe, let's, let me just make sure. Uh, I want to open up this. If you notice, look at his, what it says here. 
one of one under exclusive license to AWOL recordings. Let's go back and look at this album. I see who it was released under. Yep, Foundation. That's right. I could not remember. So if you notice, this is uh this was released under Young Bands and Foundation. The Foundation uh was his previous record label, right? So let's go back and look at the previous album, Young Bands Volume One, Foundation. And then if you go back and look at let's pick a random one and just go with uh we'll go with volume four so we can have the we went through six, five, and four. So let's go back and look at number four. Foundation media again, right? So with that being said, I think what has happened uh, here is he's released from his previous label. I think his previous label was probably holding his music hostage, wouldn't allow him to drop things, uh, or either he was he he was out of uh, or he he wasn't following the guidelines of his label. Either the label was holding music front uh, front and wouldn't allow him to drop. Or he himself was not following the guidelines, and so they did not drop his music, and they pretty much shelved him. So, if you notice, it is he's definitely changed. Uh, who his who's his company? A Wall uh, Recordings. Let's see. Oh, this is, yeah, let's put that. Yeah. So this is all told. He he obviously has gotten re-signed. Uh, let's see what this falls under. Uh, it doesn't say traditional record label offerings. I didn't know if it was like a subsidiary for one of these other uh, bigger labels, but pretty much, pretty much what it looks like is that he's been, re he's got, he's signed with a different label, and now he's able to put out and release music uh, because of the the label change. So I'm wondering what that means for his previous catalog and uh, what's going on there. Um, let's see, I don't even see him on here, so this may be something that's fairly new. Yeah, I don't even see any young bands on here. Uh, oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. I was thinking that was a search button. Yeah, there's a there's no way that I can look for just like an actual search. Maybe I just overlooked it. Who knows? But I'm I'm guessing the reason he wasn't he hasn't been putting out music like I say is just due to the fact that he wasn't able to, or he just wasn't following the guidelines and they didn't release his music. And now that he's changed hands, essentially. He's able to go ahead and put some music out there, which is really good. I'm glad to see him back out here making music because personally, I always thought Fans was one of my favorite artists, um, even though we had our, you know, our differences and our back and forth or whatever. Fans was always a favorite and Fonny was always a favorite. Uh, I always did like Uno, but Uno kind of started smelling himself too much and getting too prideful. And then his music kind of be became lackluster to me after a while. Um, cause it just kind of seemed the same and repetitive and it, it seemed like he was too worried about believing that he outshined people, but that's, that's a whole nother story. Um, but those, those three were always kind of like my top choices to listen to, but every time bands would drop something, I always knew like it was going to be something that was palatable and decent. And all of these songs are all palatable and decent. So I, I'm really glad and really proud to see that he's back out here making music and, uh, putting stuff out there. Um, cause you know, I, I, I never had a personal problem with bands when we had our situation. Even though I made the diss song, it was just all like a, it's kind of like a trolling song. Like, I just, like you troll me, I'm gonna troll you. And it just, that's just kind of how it happened. But um, I'm really glad to see that he's back out here. He's putting music out. I hope that he start, you know, start to start from this point to move, you know, in an upward trajectory and uh, really starts getting the ball rolling for his career. Because I always thought that he was a, a really good, decent artist that, uh, could have gotten a little bit more light. I think this will be a good starting point for him. So let's hope that the next project, the next videos, the next singles that drop just kind of continue to move in an upward trajectory. And I think this is a good way to start uh, start that off. Um, I do wish that I could have seen a couple more features though, but I really don't know who I'd like to see him having features with just off of the simple fact I don't really know who he rocks with. Cause that, that's one other thing with bands. He, he is kind of one of those artists that was like, if you're popular, I'll rock with you. If you're not, then I'm not going to rock with you. But then you could get popular and then he'll, you know, act like, you know, y'all was cool or whatever. That's just one thing I always kind of was just eh, on the fence with them uh, about that. Uh, but I'd like to see something like uh, Young Bands with a couple more features on here. Like rather than having these other songs that kind of were like seem like more of repeat songs or like clone songs of the ones that I did like. I would have liked to have seen different songs with features like just for an example just for example's sake 
if I saw a, a, a Young Bands and a Yeet song together, that probably would be a pretty good song. That would be the blow up song that you'd probably be hearing about. Something like that. Or, you know, uh, maybe a, another artist of some sort that's, you know, kind of on the up and up and uh, doing their own thing like that as well. So, it's you know, it's really good to see that he's back out here. He's able to put music out. That was literally one of the first thing I no noticed uh, when the music was put out that he was it was uh, under uh, a wall recordings. So that's that that was usually a good sign and indication that he's probably changed hands as far as his uh, musical ownership. And uh, I'm glad that he's able to, you know, seems like to be able to put more music out there because he kind of has been inactive here since, as you can see, 2019. So let's hope that this is a, you know, beginning of a new page for him, a new chapter, a new book and a new start for, for him. And uh, it kind of goes in the, in the positive tra trajectory and he kind of picks up where he left off. So. Glad to see that he's back out here and he's putting music out here. I really like the album art. That's a really cool uh, album art cover as well. Um, he's always been pretty uh, good at, you know, picking album, uh, making album art covers and whatnot. Even though these are all pictures, but, you know, back in the day, he would pick, you know, a little bit cooler ones. So something like that. That's cool. This one's cool. That's pretty interesting. So, you know, it's, it's good to see that he's making music again and back out there. So, you know, I hope this, you know, his success continues and, uh, you know, we see him with some more features. We can see him working with other artists and uh, putting some more projects out there and some more singles. Definitely want to see some more videos from him. And uh, I, I like I hope he goes back to some of his old sound, like when he first came out, while still doing a lot of his new sounds uh, as well. You kind of mesh those two together and then give you separately this the, the band's type of style that we you know that we all know and love and then along with uh, growing and cultivating this new style so that's all i got for you guys we're just gonna keep it short and simple well 17 minutes ain't too short but hopefully you guys watch it all the way to the end and you enjoy it go check out his album uh leave a like in the comment section the, uh, or dislike in the comment section what are this uh, you know what i mean give me the video a like or either uh dislike either which way just interact with the video drop your comment let me know what your favorite song is off of this uh, album, um, let me know what what other band songs are your favorite. Who you'd like to see them work with in the future, that type of stuff, and just kind of be active in the uh, comment section. You know, I, I like to hear back from you guys and getting feedback from all of you. So I appreciate all the love and support. Uh, I hope it continues, and uh, that's all I got for you today, man. Follow me on all my social media. Milan makes beats. I got it. If I got it, you'll find me. If I don't, you won't. And that's really about it, guys. Take care. Peace.